In our previous class, we had seen how to create this ATP database connection. In this class, we will create an integration and pull the records from the database. Before creating integration, let me create a table and insert few records in the database. So I will be creating this employee details table in the database. Copy and paste over here. Let me run the create table query. Table created. Now let me insert few records. Here in this table, employee details. Employee ID is not null as well as it is a primary key. Let me copy this, insert, paste it over here and run. There is one semicolon missing over here. Yeah, all the rows got inserted successfully. Let me verify, select star from employee details. Let me run. Yeah, we are having information for four employees Bill, Mike, Samson, and Kevin, whose employee IDs are 1, 2, 3, 4, and whose salary are those many dollars. Now we'll switch over to integration instance and we'll create an integration. So click on this create button and select app driven integration. Click on select. Here provide the name as test db select click on create now we'll expose this integration over rest protocol in order to do that let me construct a sample json over here let me do it in a new page so element will be employees so this will be an array So here we'll be having ID, we'll have a name and we'll have ID name and the salary detail. Okay. Let me copy this go over to the instance here I am selecting OIC REST trigger provide the name as trigger click on next what does this operation do I am giving this as trigger let me provide the endpoint URI as test this is will be will be of type post this integration will have a request as well as a response and the post HTTP method. In the request, I am providing the sample JSON which we created just now. Click on OK. Click on Next. In the response, we will have a JSON as well. So here we will add two more parameters that is for status. Status and we will have a description. copy this click on ok let me save the response as well in this file click on next and done so we have exposed our integration over rest protocol let me change the layout so now i will be calling our database from here so i had named this as atp db i will name this as select sql query from here, what operation do you want to perform? I am selecting run a SQL statement first. Let me correct the name, select SQL query. Click on next. Here I am writing the query. I will write select star from employee underscore details. Click on validate SQL query. It's success. Click on next and done. So we have successfully selected all the records with the help of this query. Now, once we retrieve all the data from database, we have to map in the response. Click on edit. Select the developer and XSLT mode. Expand the wrapper. Here we have to expand the response from the database. Here 
we have to map this unbounded element to unbounded over here then we have to map employee id to id name to name and salary to salary so here i'm writing the status as success message if any we can give these two elements have created just for returning the status like success in case of error status will be error and description will be error message on close in order to populate those details we need to have this invocation and the mapper within a scope so that if any fault raised by a scope then it will be handled and returned to the service consumer will not touch that piece over here click on this and go to tracking expand the employee will provide the name over here click on save in the request we don't pass anything as of now in this case even though i have exposed this uh, integration in order to accept this request json because the same integration will be making use in order to insert and update the records going forward in our future classes click on close save the integration now let me activate this integration run the integration click on test here in the request we are not sending any details because we are just selecting the data present in the table with the select query let's ignore whatever it is there in the body over here click on test so in the response we should be getting all those four employee details let's check So I did not get the details back. Looks like this is not committed. Let me commit this data. Now let me hit this test button again. Yeah, now we are getting the details back, the status success and the details of four employees. In our case, we had details for four employees that is Bill, Mike, Samson and Kevin. All those four information for employees we have retrieved. So like this, we can write a select SQL query and retrieve the details from the database.